this week on the cinemas? The Lego Movie, that awkward moment, The Monuments Men, and the Hollywood blockbuster, Ride Along. Plus, we observed your comments via social media, so we asked, and we received. Playing once more on our shores for a limited time only is the Oscar-nominated 12 Years a Slave. Most people who know me know one concrete thing about me. I like movies. A lot. So yeah, my parents gave me the name of a movie star since before I was even born. But truth be known, before I even knew who John Travolta was, I wanted to work in movies. There was a time in film history when a group of French filmmakers, critics, and writers got together and created what was called Cagier du Cinema. It was a magazine that essentially bridged the gap between the filmmaker and the movie-going audience. With smartphones, everybody today is either a filmmaker or a critic. And that is this show. This online community. This is the cinemas. Here's a look at this hey, week's Quentin, cinema in a part of the show we like to call Insta Cinema. Are you in your office? Wonderful. Fantastic. Would you cancel my two o'clock? This next meeting could run a little bit deadly. The Lego movie is the first ever full-length theatrical Lego film. Well, that's not counting the Lego movies I made when I was a kid. This animated film for all ages follows Emmett, who's voiced by Chris you Pratt. He's an ordinary, rules-following, perfectly average Especially Lego minifigure who's mistakenly realm. identified as the most extraordinary the greatest, person most and key to saving the world. He's drafted into a fellowship of strangers on a quest to stop an evil tyrant by the name of Cloak President Van Business. And super he's voiced by Will Ferrell. You want to try it on? When I eat. I hear it's super painful to take off. You want to try it on? I'm a big fan of the Toy Story trilogy. And while there will be inevitable comparisons, I have to say the Lego movie has an originality all on its own. Despite being clever, funny, and heartfelt, the attention to detail in this film is astonishing. So yeah, to put it instantly, the Lego movie is one of the best films of the year so far. The title refers to a point in which a casual hookup could be threatened by a deeper connection. Why? Well, in this romantic comedy, three friends living in New York make a pact to remain single and unattached. Their lead is the emotionally unavailable Jason, played by Zac Efron, and Daniel, played by Miles Teller, is Jason's best friend and sidekick. The pact is made after their fellow college pal Mikey, played by the ever-charismatic Michael B. Jordan, learns that his wife has been cheating on him and wants a divorce. Nobody gets in a relationship. Nobody changes their status, right? Michael B. Jordan is the breakout star from last year's The Fruitful Station, which was one of my personal top 10 films of 2013. And if you had any doubt that he was a major movie star in the making, see this film and tell us. To Instaquote, that awkward moment is a fun and funny date movie. On a more serious note, Monuments or Man. not so serious note, there's the action drama The, the Monuments Men. Tech buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. Based on the true story of one of the greatest treasure hunts in history, The Monuments Men is an action drama focusing on an unlikely World War II platoon who come together for a special mission. The film is written and directed by George Clooney. It also stars George Clooney, who is joined by Matt Damon, Bill Murray, and others in a race against time to rescue historic works of art from Nazi thieves and return them to their rightful owners. The Monuments Men is one to see, but hey, we want to hear from you. So follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and submit to us your own reviews. Once you do, your Insta quotes, Insta cinemas, and Insta videos appear on our next show. Yeah, clearly every word spoke Today I woke up Feeling the lovely happiness Overflowing knowing somebody loves me Just think yesterday I was It's the number one movie in America And it's also the number one movie here in the Caribbean Tell my brother I need him to be on board You two are the most important men in my life What you just said has been received And here to talk to me more about it Is uh, Bahamas Film Commissioner, Mr. Craig Woods How you doing, sir? Fine, thank you and uh, Bahamian filmmaking sensation, Mr. Lovato Stubbs. Thank you, it's great to be here. Mr. Woods, you saw Ride Along. Yes, I did. And what did you think about it? I thought it was funny as hell. Kevin Hart just carried that movie. The energy he had, uh, the relationship between he and Ice Cube, uh, the scenes, the dialogue, I don't know, just funny, just funny. I read a newspaper article recently where um, Will Packer, who's the producer for Ride Along, and uh, he's a budding superstar himself. He's got this movie coming out this year, uh, in addition to another Hollywood film coming out. 
And he spoke to a Bahamian official about possibly doing more movies in the Bahamas and or the Caribbean. Could you talk more about that? Yeah, very briefly. Uh, Will Packer is doing some outstanding work. He met with our Consul General in Atlanta, uh, Mr. Randy Roll, and they had a discussion about possibly uh, Will and his production crew coming into the Bahamas to scout and look at locations and possibly shoot a feature film. We are in discussions with some of our Caribbean brethren, uh, some of our uh, my counterpart film commissioners about establishing uh, new Caribbean cinema. And basically what that is is bringing together filmmakers from the Bahamas and, and Jamaica and Trinidad and Guadeloupe. These are the countries that have stepped up to the plate and say they want to be a part of something. When you look at what's going on in Nigeria with Nollywood and what's going on in uh, India with Bollywood, uh, what's, what does that mean for us, Lovato? Um, well, as we could see, you know, Bollywood is basically the second biggest film industry next to Hollywood, and then right afterwards it's Nollywood in Nigeria. So I think, you know, um, we could really look at that exact same formula, especially in the Bahamas, and I just feel like, you know, we could just mold our young people to become filmmakers, and we could create an industry, and ultimately that industry could, you know, be a Bahamas film industry, and that could even go into, like, Ms., you know, Mr. Woods mentioned, the new cinema, new cinema that they're trying to start in the Caribbean. We could have a Caribbean wood, you know, and it's Bahama just Bahamawood, like Bahama Bahamawood, Bahamawood, Bahama <laughs> Caribbean, Caribbean wood. wood. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, because uh, what's key is mass as well because with India how many watch films a day? Uh, I saw some statistics several years ago about 25 million Indians right. watch a film daily. You right. know how wow. in, in, in the Latin countries you go for a siesta right. and you go yeah. for a sleep after the, you know on the right. after you do some work during the day? Right. Well in uh, in India they don't go to sleep they go to watch a movie and they go to watch their stars. Wow. That's true. Yeah, wow. the Indian, they, watch the, they watch the movies not so much because of the content right. and because of the storyline. They go to watch what the stars are doing. Right. So That's they true. follow their stars. Yeah. Yeah. When you purchase a Coke combo at any of the Galleria Cinema locations, you enter for a chance to win a ticket to the cinema of your choice. Two tickets will be awarded each week via Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. In addition, you have a chance to join me in one of these two chairs as we sit here and discuss the cinemas. Here's a brief look at what's playing this week. Dining in a movie this week is brought to you by Alpac Steakhouse. It's this part of the show where we select a movie we feel worthy to chat over dinner or coffee. Joining me this week is Tej Grant of Guardian Talk Radio 96.9. You can catch his show Coffee Break there. Hi gentlemen, welcome to Outback Steakhouse. Why don't I take a few minutes and tell you about our new promotion. We're currently promoting our spinach and artichoke dip along with our billabong ribs throughout the entire month of February. So why don't I give you a couple of minutes, you browse the menu and I'll come back to take your orders. Hey, Teach Grant. What's going on, man? I'm good, man. How's it going? Good, good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, I thought you was, uh, I thought you promised me thigh snack, fried dry. Yeah, uh, you know. here in Outback eating something a little better than that. I, I, I don't mind a could cut a special every now and again. <laughs> yeah, but I think Outback is a worthy location given the movie we're about to talk about. Definitely. You know? um, 12 Years a Slave. I was born a free man. Lived with my family in New York. Be good for your mother. Until the day I was deceived. To Solomon. Kidnapped. Sold into slavery. This movie completely floored me. You know, like I, I wanted to see it here home. Yeah. But uh, it was here for like maybe two weeks and then it left. Mm -hmm. And um, I spent the holidays in New York and got a chance to see it there. Right. And I'd actually planned that day to see a ton of movies. Mm -hmm. And after I saw 12 Years a Slave, I couldn't see anything else. Yeah, it left me um, emotionally exhausted. I never thought as a man at 31 years old I'd be using those words. Right. Uh, but emotionally exhausted, yeah. Right. 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 Definitely. Right. But it was a brilliant movie though. What you like most about it? The well, I like the parallels, you know. And this is kind of sad for me to say, but looking at our country and then looking at the movie, there are parallels that you cannot deny. And so, um, you know, I was able to relate that. I was able to improve on my show uh, and, and draw some things, bring some things to light, and um, compare our situation now to slavery, which is harsh, but um, it's fair, you know. After I saw the movie, so I mean. When it comes to like favorite character, everybody expects Solomon to be my, my favorite character. Right. Um, it was definitely um, Patsy. Uh, uh, played by Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And, everybody's uh, new for us now. All yeah. of a sudden, everybody yeah. likes dark women. Yeah. Overnight. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, yeah. in fact, I saw this photo of her just the other day on Twitter. And I mean, it's just amazing how she's becoming this fashion icon and really lighting up the uh, whole red carpet scene. Of course. And, of course. Uh, and she's pretty much the shoe in the way the Oscar so. Yeah. I ain't got no comfort in this life. If I can't buy mercy from you, I'll beg it. In, in, in terms of story, you know, it was. It kind of reminded me of those Disney fairy tales you watched as a kid. Like it, it was, it was that kind of almost cartoon reality, right. but it was reality. You know, what I mean, like, because the thing about the fairy tales is that those stories are only as good as their villain makes them out to be. Mm -hmm. And the institution of slavery was just this evil beast right. that our hero is up against and having to, you know, persevere mm -hmm. through this entire story. Where are you from, Platt? I told you. Tell me again. Washington. Who were your master? Master name of Freeman. Was he a learned man? I suppose so. He learned you to read? A word, here or there. But I've no understanding of the written text. Well, don't trouble yourself with it. Same as the rest, master bought you here to work, that's all. Anymore, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. The Cinemas is a show about community. And come March 2nd, we're throwing our first community event here at Outback Steakhouse. March 2nd is Oscar night. So we're inviting everybody to come out and join us here at Outback, right outside Gallery of Cinemas. There's going to be a red carpet, movies, games, and there's a chance to walk away at the end of the night with a ton of cash. So come out and join us. Nassau Rock and Nassau Road. Nassau's got a whole lot of soul. Uh, feel all right. Mini skirts, maxi skirts, and Afro hair do. People doing their own thing and don't care about me or you. Nassau's gone funky. Nassau Road. Nassau's got a whole lot of soul. Mini skirts, maxi skirts, and afro hair do. People doing their own thing and don't care about me or you. Thank you for watching the cinemas. Feel free to subscribe to our channel.